The World Register is an independent news source. Our goal is to be a leading provider of truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting about people, places, and events. We currently use other news outlets to provide content and are not responsible for their version of events. Reuters News Agency reports today that U.S. President Donald Trump hit back at what he called a phony story after a Washington Post report said that he is under investigation for possible obstruction of justice by the special counsel probing alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election and possible collusion with the Trump campaign. The Washington Post, citing unidentified officials, reported on Wednesday that special counsel Robert Mueller is investigating the Republican president for possible obstruction of justice. According to the report, another unidentified source familiar with the Mueller investigation confirmed the Post report. On Twitter, President Trump wrote, quote, They made up a phony collusion with the Russian story found zero proof, so now they go for obstruction of justice on the phony story. Nice, unquote. In another tweet, President Trump said, quote, You are witnessing the single greatest witch hunt in American political history, led by some very bad and conflicted people, unquote. Mark Corello, a spokesman for Trump's legal team, denounced the Post report, saying on Wednesday, quote, The FBI leak of information regarding the president is outrageous, inexcusable, and illegal. Russia has repeatedly denied U.S. intelligence agencies' conclusion that it interfered in last year's election campaign to try to tilt the vote in Trump's favor. In another report by Reuters news agency, Italy's interior ministry said 65,000 migrants have arrived in Italy so far this year, up almost 18% over the same period last year. Since the European Union and Turkey agreed to shut down boat migrants setting off for Greece last year, Italy is Europe's main entry point for refugees and migrants. A record 181,000 migrants arrived on Italy's shores last year. People smugglers, who operate with impunity in Libya, cram migrants onto unseaworthy boats and send them toward international waters 15 miles off the coast, where so-called humanitarian ships come to their aid. The ships then transport the people across the Mediterranean Sea to Italy. And one America News Network reports today that a federal judge is expected to rule whether a Louisiana police officer can sue Black Lives Matter. The unnamed officer was injured at a protest following a deadly police shooting. He also says activist DeRay McKeeson incited violence on behalf of Black Lives Matter. McKeeson's attorney claims Black Lives Matter is a movement and not an organization, thus it cannot be sued. The officer's attorney says it is an unincorporated association that solicits money and has chapters around the U.S. District Judge Brian Jackson expects to rule on the matter within the coming days.